What's up beautiful people, it's your boy Gideo and I'm back again with a new video. Today we're going to be checking out a day in the life of Vladimir Putin. This is going to be my first time watching this one but I'm excited for it without wasting the time. Let's check it out. Insider looking in, you might think Vladimir Putin has a pretty crazy life. A life where every day... Nah, this is definitely an edit work. <laughs> he is filled Got with bears, right shirtless there. horseback riding and the stereotypical vodka. But you might be shocked to learn the truth of the former KGB leader's daily routines as the president of Russia. As a political figure known for his ominous demeanor, his allegedly villainous tactics, and signature style of governing, there's so much to wonder about what a day in the life of Vladimir Putin looks like. So we're going to take a look for ourselves. So pour yourself a glass of vodka, put on an oversized coat, and let's explore what routines and activities the Kremlin leader gets up to. Mornings. The first thing that might come as a surprise is the time Vladimir Putin wakes up. Considering his position as a world leader, you'd think he'd want to be up early, but you'd be wrong. Instead, Putin always gets a late start to his day, waking up in the late morning before taking breakfast at noon. For okay. breakfast, you're looking at a very standard and perhaps dull breakfast of... Okay, I have a question. How did this person get this information? How do you know when the president wakes up? <laughs> Because I don't think that's public knowledge right there. Porridge, quail uh -huh. eggs, an omelette, and some fruit juice. However, one thing that is apparently always present at a Putin breakfast is cottage cheese. It seems he just can't get enough of the stuff. Like all of Putin's meals, breakfast is prepared fresh with ingredients sourced from local farms nearby. In fact, his ingredients come from a farm belonging to another important Russian figure, the Patriarch Kirill who is the head of the Russian Orthodox Church. This can be one of the trickier parts of Putin's job, considering he's got to be away from home often for foreign trips. His sense of paranoia surrounding food means he travels a lot with his cook in an attempt to always know what he's eating and who prepared it. As a former spy, he knows how easy it is for things to turn, shall we say, deadly. However, this is not to say that he doesn't eat what his hosts have prepared when he is hosted by other leaders. It just needs to be cleared by the Kremlin before he will eat any of it. A strange fact, Putin doesn't drink milk. He point blank refuses, and it's unclear if it's because he doesn't like it or if it has to do with something else. Only once breakfast is complete will the Russian president enjoy a cup of coffee. Novichok free, of course. Then with breakfast out of the way, Novichok it's free. What's Novichok? time to exercise. Now erase images of bear wrestling out of your mind. Putin enjoys a considerable amount of time swimming. How much time? Two whole hours of swimming. It's been noted that Putin does a lot of his thinking on behalf of the country while swimming. How thoughtful. He's going to need an additional two hours not to look like a raisin when he attends to actual governance. But alas, swimming is only one aspect of his workout schedule. Next, he heads to the weights. If there's one thing Putin takes very seriously, Besides, well, everything, it's fitness <laughs> and cultivating and maintaining an image of masculinity. Putin Gino. is known as someone who's constantly seen engaging in physical activity through swimming, exercising, or just playing sports such as ice hockey, karate, hang gliding, hunting, or fishing. He's never been shy about sharing his body with the Russian electorate, making sure they know their leader <laughs> is strong. I That's think, likely where yeah. the images of him riding a bear or horse shirtless came in handy the most. <laughs> Regardless of what anyone might think, there's no denying that Putin is in considerable shape compared to other world leaders who, frankly, aren't. For daily <laughs> attire, True. Putin enjoys a very True. plain suit and tie, I agree. clothing brands Keton and Brioni. Also important, he never sports a flashy tie, instead opting for dour, plain colors. To remain healthy, Putin enjoys natural remedies as he distrusts medicine. I'm sure it's easy to understand why. So he relies on traditional health remedies to remain in good health, such as massages, tea with honey, saunas, and keeping in shape. It's time to leave home and get to work at the Kremlin. Putin doesn't live in the busy city of Moscow. Instead, he lives in his private home on a sprawling estate filled with lush greenery and parkland surrounding his lavished home. Afternoons. Putin waits for no one, but people are definitely kept waiting by the man himself, considering what time he gets into the office. The workday officially begins in the early afternoon, lucky, where Putin arrives and heads to his chambers for briefing notes. He'll spend some time going through the various notes that range from domestic intelligence, foreign affairs, international media, Russian media, and so on. 
Putin is very intent on knowing all the available information from across his various agencies which gather intel. He's not one for surprises, so he needs to know what's going on both at home and abroad. What may be surprising is the amount of press Putin devours, including the Russian Digest. But it's Russia's quality press which is essential to the Kremlin's core operations of spreading information and gossip. He takes particular interest in articles written about himself, and has a special fondness for articles written by Andrei Kolesnikov. Finally, he reads foreign press news clippings. They're his least favorite, because, well, to say the world isn't fond of the Russian president is an understatement. He has a particular disdain for the German newspapers, which are the least favorable to the former KGB leader. However, one element of the German news he enjoys is his ability to fluently read and understand all the articles in their native language of German, which he picked up while working as a KGB agent back in the day. He had been attempting to perfect his English, and it would seem he's done well in that department as well. Perhaps it was because, uncharacteristically, he was speaking in English. Now, to be fair, at least he can speak English and quite well. Completely free of charge. Very few American or British leaders can speak any language other than English. Yeah, Putin we've isn't much of a leader or fan really of technology. True. He is old school and enjoys pen and paper communication. He also prefers to make use of fixed-line Soviet war-era telephones. His advisors will show the stoic president videos of satirical content that openly mocks the Russian government or Putin himself in rare instances. However, his reaction to these clips is anyone's guess. Something tells me it's not an LOL moment though. Putin's schedule is as intense as any world leader's schedule, and it's something planned months in advance and therefore isn't super easy to just change on a whim. In some rare cases, things are planned years in advance. Now that's some organization. It, it's noted that the day is divided into blocks of 15 minutes, which can be reserved for anything from calls to meetings or events. Putin famously hates meetings, kind of like some of those big CEOs we're all so familiar with, so he actively avoids them as much as possible. If you're wondering how Putin manages to- <laughs> I feel like everybody hates meetings. I don't want to be in the midst of too much talking. Get from home to work in order to no. keep up with an intense schedule. Well, he's got his own road. I know that sounds like, oh, a road he always uses and is cleared when he needs it, but no. He has a road that nobody but him and his motorcade can use. Now that's power. This private road means he can get from his home to the Kremlin in under 25 minutes. Most of his time is spent either at home or at the Kremlin, so it makes for convenience. If he needs to travel anywhere else, like the airport, the roads are cleared pretty easily. But that's another thing he avoids at all costs. Evenings. If it wasn't obvious from the time of day he wakes up, Putin is a night owl. He prefers staying up later to work as he believes it's when his mind is most active and when he's sharpest. Yeah, that's he enjoys me. a meal prepared by that's his personal me. chef and continues working into the night. In addition, he also enjoys some pistachio ice cream, which is known as his favorite. He even gifted the president of China, Xi Jinping, with a gift of pistachio flavored ice cream at a meeting once. If you get ice cream from Putin, consider yourselves friends. Putin will return home at midnight unless he's returned home earlier and chosen to work from his home office over the Kremlin. At home, he will either continue working or relax. If you think he works hard, then be glad you're not one of his couriers who has to work late. While many envy the people who hold such a prestigious and up-close position to the Russian leader, not many seem to be aware of just how intense this job can really be. Putin doesn't drink except for the odd occasion when he enjoys a glass of wine at foreign diplomatic receptions. But considering the country's long history of social issues due to alcoholism, many of the top-ranking Russian leaders have sworn off of the fiery water they're known for. Outside of being a leader, Putin isn't known for much else. He's got two daughters, but nobody knows how much of a relationship they share. The truth is, everyone knows a lot more about his dogs than they do his own flesh and blood. He has a Labrador, a Kita Inu, and a Karakachan. Of course, Putin loves his dogs. And in one instance, when his dog Yume, the Akita Inu, barked at a Japanese reporter, he gave her a treat. But as we're aware, Putin isn't a fan of the free press. While we're sure Putin doesn't want to do so, eventually, even he has to sleep. As it stands, Putin is single after splitting from his wife of 30 years, Ludmilla. Since 2013, he's been a single man with little time and a whole country in his hands. I'd say he's got a lot of other things to focus on besides a relationship. Come 3 a.m., Putin is in bed, drifting off into the night. <laughs> How do you know Putin? Like, this is crazy. <laughs>
How do you know he's, he takes breakfast at noon? How do you know he sleeps at 3 a.m.? This is too in-depth, you know? <laughs> something tells me he doesn't dream. But if he did, it would likely be something about something we're not dream. ready to hear. And speaking of things you're not ready to hear, click this video to find out what a day in the life of Kim Jong-un is like. And I'll yeah. see you there. <laughs> oh, that video, that was a good video. Very good work, good body of work, but it's... A little bit questionable, yo. How do you get all this information? <laughs> yeah, it was so in-depth in some areas, but some areas we've actually seen some of the videos like, you know, his dogs, we've seen judo, we've seen him swim. Yeah, it was a very good video still. I liked it. Let me know what you guys think. And if you agree with me that some of the parts were too extreme, you know, talk to me. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section. This is the end of this one. Don't forget to smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Peace. Thank you so much for choosing this video. If you had a good time, please help us make more videos. We have a Patreon link in the description. You can choose to donate to support the cause. And also you can be a member. I appreciate you so much. A lot of the videos we have on the channel cannot be monetized because of copyright issues. Please to encourage us and keep us going. Help us make more videos. Thank you, thank you and thank you once again.